o'clock. First Lady Jill Biden touching down in Utah today. It's her first visit here as the First Lady of the United States. She wasn't here long, but it definitely was a jam-packed day. We have been tracking her visit and have team coverage this evening. ABC 4's Jason Wynn in Salt Lake City, where Dr. Biden stopped by a pop-up vaccine clinic there. But first, we begin with ABC 4's Jordan Burroughs, who is at Glendale Middle School, where Dr. Biden visited with students and teachers earlier today. Jordan, what did she have to say? Hey, Emily, the big thing from First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is that she said education is more important now than ever. She clarified this by saying during the COVID-19 pandemic, it's been one of the toughest years for educators all around the globe. Before she addressed the teachers and educators here today at Glendale, she did have the chance to talk to two groups of students. Those two groups of students are here from Glendale, and more than 90% of the population here at Glendale Middle School is of a sort of minority, minority group background. One of the groups of students played ukulele for the first lady while the other presented a project to her. Also, the students gave the first lady a lay, as it is tradition in that classroom, to give it to a special visitor. When Dr. Biden addressed the crowd, she told them the best gift for educators is giving them the tools to succeed. She said she and her husband, President Joe Biden, want to do just that. She added she's thankful for the resiliency of teachers all around the country. It's been hard, hasn't it? There's no denying that. And there have been losses that we'll never get, get back. Lost time with each other, lost learning, and the loss of so many who we love. Before First Lady Dr. Jill Biden spoke to the crowd, an eighth grade student, Rosa Sanchez, Utah Teacher of the Year, John Arthur, and also Utah's First Lady, Abby Cox, spoke to the crowd about their tribulations and triumphs during this past year. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.